you, buddy. I've got 91 ammo. Oh, oh you got a big axe. What's up everyone and welcome back to Melaloo Gaming. This is episode 24 of Greedfall. Um, <laughs> so in this episode, I decided to go with the Children of Tear for D side quest, uh, tr we'll call it Tree. And uh, this one's called Inquisition. Sorry for that. Uh, go to the woods of San Mateus to meet with the natives. And we are here. I decided to do a lot of the walking and, and traveling off screen, but um, found this little route. You come out towards the east side of San Mateus and cut a right, end up going due south. There's the old logging expedition, and then it looks like these uh, pathways lead to the woods where we should meet the natives. And uh, the music started picking up, so I was like, you know what? Best start recording now. Before I miss some stuff. <laughs> also, there's like a random mission to to find um foxes or to kill foxes, and uh, that, that's probably like the only thing you guys missed. Oh, these guys again. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We're not even supposed to be here. All right. No, oh, guys, chill out, chill out, chill out. It's a little nook we're supposed to go in. <laughs> Follow the buck. Sweet, okay. There's a little cul-de-sac here. Let's go explore that first. Anything good? No, no. Just fluff and filler. Alright, let's go see the natives. Are they hostile? Or do you just want to meet? Please. Please? I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait! This is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau, the one we wanted to talk to. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a man different from the other in Ixe amongst the Lugay and Blau, someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounced the truth and praised the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers, so I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The red sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaik say do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it, or the suns will keep burning our people. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry. Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. 
I mean, we, ju we just got the mission, dude. We're going to be working on it post haste. Okay, search the house of Inquisitor Claudius. Go back to town? We'll do. All right. Okay, Inquisitor Claudius's house. So, okay, wonderful. Wonderful. A nice little dash of espionage. At least this time, I don't think we're going to have to sneak around. <laughs> we know we know how well that goes. Oh, man. Can we just take that in for a second? Thanks, Vasco. Thank you. Okay. Can we... Can we just... Can, uh, can we just take that in for a second? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'd love to see like a little documentary or something as, as to how they went about making it. I know they had the um, uh, Focus Home Interactive has their YouTube page where they posted up things during Greedfall's launch. And I don't think there's been much activity since. Um, would it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to see behind the scenes? Okay, let's go this way. We cut left. Now, I feel like we ran into Inquisitor Claudius before. Probably not, but it's just, it's just a hunch. Let's wait. Is it the Inquisitor that went nuts once we first... Once we first met up? I forget that guy's name. Locked. Yeah, let's use that key. Nothing to see here, dude. Just uh, using the key to go in my house. That's that's my name right there. I am uh, Yellow Sun on Red Banner. You know how much the Ordo Luminous dislikes the knots. If they catch us here. Letter found at the home of Father Claudius. Claudius, I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our com conversion camp project. Oh, geez. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. Ugh. You will find some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operations in your chest at our headquarters. May the Enlightened protect you, Inquisitor Honorius? In Honorius? Trouble. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the Order here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. Absolutely. So I think it's going to be tucked under the bed. Next to possibly some pictures he may not want us to see. Uh, no, 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 there's nothing there. Oh, here we go. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. We won't find anything except the reflection of one dashing looking young man and his badass hat. Although I think he might be a vampire because I didn't see any reflection in there. <laughs> Ah, caught green-handed. Let's just shimmy on this way. Ah. Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information, hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you want us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. 
That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This man is a monster, like the other Red Sons. Did you see the way he looked at me? I'm certain that he didn't believe you. He will probably come back. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Oh man, I love Dissoni's dialogue. <laughs> he gets caught. He's like not even... Now he wavered. He's like, yep, yep, I'm here. You want to talk about it? You want to go figure out what, what I'm doing? What are you doing, buddy? Why are you here? Oh, man. What a freaking awesome character. All right. So maybe pump a U-turn. Go left at the... Uh... Yeah, all right. Town Square, San Mateus. Sweet. I do love how these um these villages are so like compact. It's like every every spot has a little nook and cranny. It's like tons of alleyways you could go down. Oh, poor, poor animal. Oh. Wait, Ordo Luminous's quarters. Search area. Search the office of Inquisitor Claudius. Um, there we go. <laughs> um, come around the corner. Ooh, what are you? So they most certainly are going to be around here. Um, crud. You know what? Might as well check. What's around here? What the? Oh, what? Dude. Oh. Let's keep that one in the thought. In the, uh, in the memory banks there. Ugh. Hmm. Um, do you have any oatmeal? You look like the guy who dishes out some good old oatmeal. What do you got? What do you got? We got candles, we got a box. I think I would probably like dish out 99 cents if a mini map was DLC. <laughs> Letter found in Claudius' chest. Claudius, we hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We would also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refra refractory native subjects. I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us. The path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads us to the secluded glade where we built the camp. As it is imperative that our operations remain secret for now. May the Enlightened protect you, the Auto Luminous. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope they'll manage to free our brothers and sisters who are prisoners. What these monsters are doing to them is horrible. I was kind of hoping that we were going to stand right outside again. All right, go ahead, let's talk. Let's have another conversation. All right. Um, nowhere near us is the, oh, the Desaide residence. We can fast travel there, or are we going, yes, tell the natives about our discovery. Alright, bit of a walk, but we can make it. Also, I mean, I have been playing this game for a while, but I think I'm still early game since I'm basically rolling through all the side quests up until it tells me that I can't. <laughs> um, but I wonder if we get a mount later on. If, or if everything is just uh, 
walking. I know when they were um, doing interviews, again, pre-release of the game, they made mention that this game isn't truly an open world. It's more like a big, like a big sandbox, I guess. Which I could see that. But I don't mind it. Ooh. Oh, it's just you. And we don't need anything in there. <laughs> I am. So, did you discover anything? Oh, did I, did I? Let's press E. <laughs> I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, on all Menawi. Oh, man, I was ready for it. Get it, buddy. I've got 91 ammo. Oh, oh, you got a big axe. Oh my god. Let's get this guy. Oh. Hi, kid. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bartir Tumad on all Menawi. And thanks again. <laughs> that went wonderfully. Ooh, and a level up. Um, let's see, let's see. Journal, an ancient secret. What? That wasn't there before. Talk to oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, let's go back to side quest. An aspiring merchant. Okay, so that, oh man, that, that wrapped up really nicely. I know, I know for a fact that that conversion camp mission is going to come back. And, uh, I think... I think we're gonna be the on the right side of all these all these things. It's just oh, it's so it's so wonderful. Like it's funny because I know I know no no one can see my face obviously, but uh, the whole time all these cutscenes are going, I'm thinking I hope Desaday says this or that, and it just it it comes to fruition. I'm like yes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like usually smiling or like doing a fist pump little dance you can imagine you might be doing the same thing too you might be like yeah man go you i like what you did there nice choice nice choice this day um but yeah so 
we're gonna we're gonna go help out this merchant uh but in the next episode so if you did like this one please leave a like and if you would like to see more please subscribe thank you all for watching take care and have a great day